Hi there, this is uh, the English Picker. This is my picking finds for Saturday the 15th of October 2011. So, just got a few bits today, just went to one um, car boot sale. Um, first thing I picked up uh, were these work boots. Steel toe cap, work boots, fur lined. Asking a tenner, got them for £9. I'll come back to the jewellery in a second. Uh, got this decent lock box, uh, metal with two keys, uh, that was £2, so that would be useful for storing precious metals in. My girlfriend picked up some DVDs, pound each, um, so, you know, that will be okay. And I got these, I'm not sure about this, um, two Beatles albums, kind of all their records, um, both ones, good condition, um, it's a couple of little tears and things like that, but the records themselves are fine. I've seen them on eBay go for sort of anything from five to twenty pounds. Uh, the woman was asking a fiver each. I got them both for a fiver, so five pounds for the two. We'll see how those go. And then over here we've got some some nice sugar tongs. Uh, they're plated, but I can still make something out of them. I think I paid four pounds each, something like that. So there you go. Uh, I got this for a quid. It's a nice, nice uh, turquoise stone. Bangle on elastic. I'll uh, put that on eBay. See how that goes. Don't really know too much about it, but it looked quite nice. So uh, see how it goes. Uh, picked up some solid silver earrings here. Uh, they were 50p, and she threw in these uh, sil solid silver butterfly backs. Got a nice solid silver chain here for one pound fifty. Um, not too much weight, but still quite nice. And then um, I picked up this really nice, um, it's quite modern looking, but uh, it's 925, marked on the inside, um, ring. It's about 5 grams, and that was £1. Also from the same woman, for £1 I picked up these sterling um, drop silver earrings. They're quite nice. And then I went to the stall, and it happens quite a lot, where I walk up and I start looking through the jewellery, and the woman goes, oh, you'll find no gold and silver in there, I'm afraid. Someone's already asked. And right in front there, it says, Hallmark Sterling Silver. It's a brooch. And on the back it says, Sterling and 925, just there. And she just before that told me that there was no gold or silver on her stall. So it does my head in when people say that, but you've still got to have a look. Don't let it put you off. And then lastly, this one's a bit of a conundrum. Um, it's this chain. I got it from the same guy I got these from. I picked it up and it's it's hard to convey but it is so light. It is really light. I thought, oh, it must be made out of aluminium or something. So, first of all, or stainless, I tested it with my magnet. There was no response. And then on the clasp, uh, on, on the there, there, it says 375. On there it says 9 carat. It says 375 on the other side. And the part that's broke here, it also says 375. <clears throat> and I said, oh, how much do you want for it? And he said, uh, oh, costume jewellery bit. Just give us a one pound for it. That'll do. And, um, yeah, lo and behold, it's turned out to be 9 karat gold. But the reason why it's so light is because the, you can't quite make out, but the links are made out of sheet material and they're hollow inside. So yeah, it weighs uh, 7.2 grams. The price last time I checked was £12.50 for 9 carat per gram. So, you know, you're talking 70, 80 quid. Um, place I go to, I'll probably get about £10 a gram. I can get more, but, you know, for the cash today, I can, I can get about £80 for that. So, um, yeah, happy days. So, uh, just shows you, you, you can you can find gold at the car boot, or yard sale, if you, you've just got to look hard enough. And I was quite surprised to find this, because I went with my girlfriend, we, we went a bit, little bit later. Um, so it was sort of 15, 20 minutes after the, it had opened. So a lot of the people were saying, oh, I haven't got any gold or silver because it's already been taken. Um, but this was still there, and all this was still there, so just shows you, you know, have a good look and you'll find some some hidden treasures. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.